This is a member of, I'm not joking, the, the Berlin City Police. <laughs> he is going to be the cameraman, filming segments of today's performance, which is great advertising for the ESMT, Vitra, and all you guys. Nothing embarrassing, we'll just have fun, I'll make everybody look good, I promise. And if, if people ask nicely, I'll send links. Okay, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, in the year 1983, when Michael Jackson was promoting his album Thriller, MTV would not play his music videos because they did not believe that a black artist was commercial enough for mainstream audiences. When Bruce Lee first presented his movie scripts to Hollywood executives, they said no. They said that an Asian actor would never appear or never have the starring role in an American film and that Western audiences would never be interested in this Asian martial arts stuff. Wrong! <laughs> so wrong. Michael Jackson became the largest selling music artist of all time. Bruce Lee redefined action movies forever. What was it about these pioneers that set them apart from everybody else? It was their ability to transform their ideas and dreams into reality. I'm now going to demonstrate this power, this ability to translate ideas and wishes into reality using the cards. Okay, I'm going to sit down. Stay calm. I have to say this to the Czech guy because I'm making him nervous already. <laughs> Now, I know, I know, I know. I'll get more reaction out of them, but they get it. <laughs> An Asian guy doing card tricks is, is the scariest and nerdiest combination on the planet. <laughs> but it's okay, I come in peace. Now, what I'm about to show you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not joking. Like, if you ever meet another magician, give not only my name, show this link, describe what I did and how fast it happened. I'm about to show you the most difficult card trick in the world. This is, I'm not joking, the hardest magic trick in the world. And uh, I have to show this because I need the attention. That's why I love performing so much. It has to do with me not getting hugged enough as a kid and learning very early on to attach achievement and self-esteem. But enough about Asian parenting. I'll do the card trick. All right. Uh, Jonathan, would you please, in a very clear, loud, and British voice, say any card out loud? Two of spades. The two of spades. Extremely difficult card to locate. You know why? because we're working with a randomly mixed deck of cards here. Would you like to see it fast or slow? Yeah, fast. Fast, two spades, watch, on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. No, okay, we'll, tell you what, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let him, no, it's okay, it's okay. Um, there, there are intrinsic differences uh, from region to region, even within the same language. So I'm, I'm now, tone, believe it or not, I'm now toning it down a little bit for European audiences. I just literally came back in the last five weeks from Las Vegas, 31 shows in Hollywood, Washington, D.C., and now I have to stop yelling at people because it scares <laughs> British and Europeans. Really, really. Uh, American magicians uh, and British magicians, although we both speak English, the way we communicate to our consumers is completely different. British magicians, if working in a in a a pub, a bar, or a restaurant say, hello, uh, my name's Jonathan Withers, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a, a gift of the house, so they know you don't have to pay for them, and I'd like to show you something rather unusual. Good news is it won't take very long. Essentially being apologetic for existing, whereas if that approach does not work in North America, it's like, well then, you know, go away, we're eating. Uh, <laughs> the North American approach is, uh, hey, how you guys doing? You having a good time? You want to see the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> And if they weren't all European, they'd be, you know, throwing babies and yelling. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yarek. Zemek. So, Yarek. Please say a card and I'll do some really cool uh, Asian ninja move and make it appear. Or try. Okay, and the red queen. Red. There are two red queens. They want the okay, I don't know, the, 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 with the red heart, right? I don't know the names of the card. The, the queen with the red heart? Yes, the queen in English, with the red heart. We call that the queen of hearts. In <laughs> Would you like to see this fast or slow? <coughs> this no, time, slow. This time he wants it slow. Watch. Yeah. So I, I stare Yarek in the eyes. I do the rotational thing, which is just to show off. That's as slow as I can do it and still find the card. Blind! Now, I'm going to take it to the next level. You've now seen living proof that people can name any card. I can do lightning fast moves and, and just pluck the card from the air. That's years of self-denial and a lonely childhood. 
But uh, <laughs> in order to take it to the next level, I'm going to reverse the course of events. If people say the card and I do a crazy move to produce it, well, you know, photographic memory following a dynamic system as it changes and moves, I'm mixing and finding it so fast that the human eye doesn't register. I can do that. You are going to tell us which card I choose. I'm not going to look at it. I'm just going to choose a card blindly. Ready? That's your card. What you can do now, you can say any card you like at random. I will count one, two, three, you'll turn it over, show everybody, and it's going to be the same card you just said. You are dictating our reality. You will decide what we see in the real world. Are you ready for this? A lot of responsibility, and they will lose sleep for a week. I've seen it all, nosebleed, seizures, but this is perfectly normal. Tell us, what card is sitting in front of you on the table? Heart 10. Show them the 10 of hearts. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> is that what you said? No. Let me, let me just show the ten. What did you say? Heart 10. Oh, the 10 of hearts. Yeah. Uh, I see language things, and I'm making jokes sometimes. It takes a moment for the reality to sit. You cool? Okay. All right. <laughs> now, next level, I'm actually going to explain how that works. So what I'm going to show now, and I'm not joking, in a moment you'll see this is the real explanation. Doesn't mean you'll be able to do it immediately, but here's how it works. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shuffle the cards just a little bit. We'll let uh, our police officer hit pause. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. 